All right, here we go. Our latest news: super epic cookie, crimson coral defense and a front line. Let's see how well uh, she does. Here we go. Let's get her up to level seventy-five here. Get the skill level up to level seventy-five. Right, it is a water type damage. Holy moly, that's a so long. <laughs> what? That, that that was way too long, dude. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, here we go. The skill description, somber affection. 12 second cooldown, Very, pretty short here. Crimson Coral's uh, cookie's sister will lend their powers to Crimson Spear, piercing enemies and dealing damage. Afterwards, Crimson Coral cookie will cast an HP shield to two allies with the highest attack, excluding herself, equal to a proportion of her water type skill damage. If Crimson Coral Cookie is the only cookie in the front line, she and her allies will gain the Coral Armor buff. Additionally, her Coral Armor's size and weight will reduce the effect of knockback and flying. And when Crimson Coral is using her skill, she is not affected by eight, uh, attack speed changes and will become resistant to interrupting effects. Alright, here we go. Single hit damage from the spear is going to be 268.5% of the attack. And then she also has a C wave damage, which is going to be 527% of her attack as well. So it seems like a two part attack here. And then HP shield, two cookies with the highest attack, is going to equal to 85% of total skill damage for five seconds. That's actually huge. Okay. Water type damage. And it seems like it's going to be from these two combined. We also get damage resist plus 30%. I'm guessing that's a passive, but we'll have to test that out. All right, or whether it's to the cookies who get the HP shield. So we'll see what that does. When alone in the front line, starts with an HP shield equal to 15.5% of max HP and lasting for 15 seconds. Okay. Coral armor, all right? Reflects 30% of incoming damage and damages this plus 30%. Okay. So, okay. Goodbye, Hollerberry. It seems like, dude. Plus 30% damage resist. That's actually OP and reflects 30% of incoming damage. Core armor, ally max HP plus 15% and water type damage plus 15%. Resistant to defense reduction, 35% for 12 seconds stacks up to one time. Damage resist is 25% for 12 seconds stacks up to one time. Crit damage resist is 30% for 12 seconds for one time. Curse protection removes itself upon acquiring a, a curse debuff. Activate for 12 seconds. I'm very curious on how this works. How many cookies are getting it? Does it happen every single time she uses a skill? Um, we'll have to test it out. All right. And it seems like if this is going to be the case, she can actually literally use a full swift chocolate build and she'll be perfectly fine too. So yeah, here we go. Let's do the testing. I am going to put full swift chocolate because it seems like she is going to require a cooldown. First, we're going to try her out with uh just herself and then we're gonna put in another cookie to see like what kind of effect it does when there's multiple cookies all right here we go so that's the coral armor right there that that's the coral armor why is there so many buffs dude max hp up water attack attack up there's so many buffs already it's crazy all right let's see uh Okay, so her HP shield is gone, which is going to only last for the 15 seconds, all right? All right, here we go. Let's do the attack. Damage resist. Okay, so she does get damage. Okay, this is every time she uses her skill. Holy moly. That's actually pretty good, honestly speaking. All right, we're going to bring three cookies, all right? And then we're also going to try it out with uh, Hollerberry next to her too and see if the buffs still apply and how, how it applies and stuff like that too. Alright, so here we go. We're going to bring four cookies this time around. Alright, here we go. So everybody gets this buff. Ah, oh, but she's the only one with the coral armor. And then now, wow. <laughs> Look. Look at all this. So everybody gets curse protection? Dude, what? Oh my goodness gracious. Holy moly, look at this. Crit down, damage down, 
resistant to defense reduction. I will not falter. Holy moly! All right, now last test will be with Hollerberry here. All right, so as you can see, no coral buff is here. Let's see what happens when we use the uh, skill. Okay, so dude, they are making you use only Crimson Coral. None of the buffs are applied if you don't have the Coral buff on um, Crimson Coral. Look, nothing happens. Nothing happens. You need the Coral buff. It's gonna come down to the two two ones. How strong is it gonna be against um, other comps that are inside of the arena right now? We'll have to see. But for now, we can see that it, they're trying to make Crimson Coral the the one here. Well, let's see. Let's see how 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 it works out in um, in a team with other comps inside of the arena right now. I would like to know how how. How they function all right here we go we're gonna use this team and we'll see how this turns out i don't know we'll see i'll do a test run too guys dude she's huge though all right all right oh no i gotta get rid of this animation all right so the sign of the star debuff still uh, gets applied as you can see Okay. But dude, these two are surviving so well. Oh, but Sea Fairy. Oh, Sea Fairy. Oh my gosh, Sea Fairy is barely alive. Oh, the HP shield. Okay. Okay. Okay, we won. We won, but that was close. That Sea Fairy almost died. Black Pearl did the most damage still. Man, look at their Black Pearl doing so much damage. But that Stardust got owned, dude. And Crimson Coral's damage is not bad at all. Oh my goodness, but she is huge with that Coral buff. I don't think Stardust is going anywhere, but it's another way to kind of quote-unquote counter it in a way. But it, I don't think it's going anywhere. Because we do get the curse protection two times, but still they get the sign of the star diva. So, but the thing that I do really like is the extra damage resist that we are getting. That allows Sea Fairy, especially because Sea Fairy is very squishy. So allowing Sea Fairy, oh, Sea Fairy died though. All right, now it's gonna come down to. Yeah, I think in the end, even though you have her, you know she's she's good. But Sea Fairy is still squishy, dude. Man, but these two, you don't you might not even need Sea Fairy. Oh my gosh! Oh, Dev Sisters, what have you done? <laughs> Oh, lordy lord. This time around, Stardust is using Raspberry, so let's see if it does anything. Dang, this is... Oh my gosh, my Rockstar almost died from the first stinking Stardust Blast, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, there's a possibility I'm losing this one. Oh, oh, it's no, I'm winning this one. Oh, 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 oh it's getting close. Oh, I win. Dang, it was a close one, though.
I, I am curious on how well it would do against T-Knights. Like, how well she will survive against T-Knights. But I feel like she could definitely just be used without Sea Fairy 2. But if you start do like if you start having Sea Fairy with like level 15 Crystal Jam, level 20 Crystal Jam, I think she will become pretty darn broken with Crimson Coral and someone like you know Black Pearl in the team. Oh my goodness gracious! So it seems like it's really gonna come down to um, your DPS. Yeah. The tide of the battle is going to come down to DPS anyways in the end because Crimson Coral, yes, damage is there, but it's going to be mainly focused on, you know, buffing up the, the, the DPSs and keeping them alive even longer than they're supposed to, right? Dang, they had a five-star Ascension Moonlight too. All right, here we go. That HP shield in the beginning is kind of busted too. Man, my roster almost died. Alright, here we go. Wow, the slow though. Okay. I mean, they survived T-Night. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see, though. We'll have to see how it turns out. If, if you don't use Stardust against T-Night, it's harder to kill. So, Seafair is the leader because we're using a lot of different other cookies, too. Wow. Pattaya disappeared. Yeah, Crimson Coral is busted. I think the conclusion comes down to Crimson Coral does the job of a lot of different cookies. And I feel like, I feel like the meta is definitely going to shift towards Crimson Coral the moment people start getting her. Uh, I mean, like, she, she, she just does so much that she needs to be used, but she is restricted in which you cannot use someone like Pattaya and other cookies and i feel like sea fairy can be used but still is gonna need more than uh just plus 11 or plus more more towards like plus 15 and such in order to actually survive the other damages yes crimson coral does help survive but i think you might need still like you know higher ascension and such to survive the damage we'll we'll have to see how this turns out though um, I'm, I'm gonna do more testing. This is the first review, first impression, but from that, just actually insane, insane, insane. Should you try to pull for her? Yeah, definitely. And we'll, I will, I'll do, I'll do the calculation to see if you guys are gonna have or close to have enough, and how much you're gonna be able to get, and see if we are able to uh, do this. And it seems like Dev Sisters are moving towards the direction of replacing these two again now. Um, they have been used for. Pure Vanilla was used for a good six, seven months, bef six months before he got replaced completely in the arena. Hollaberry has been around seven months since she's been in the arena again. So I think it's gonna. So the comps are now gonna be Crimson Coral, and then there's also gonna be comps with still Hollaberry and Pattaya. Um, it's just gonna come down to what kind of comps uh, are going to be used. But yeah, busted. That's all I could say. She is busted, right? So 